What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Shu. I make content on YouTube, Instagram, not really TikTok. But anyways, today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix a check engine light code on your car. I recently got the P0011 on my Evo and I think I actually fixed it. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix it or what to look out for and maybe it'll work for you guys too. So enjoy. All right guys, so I'm gonna pretty much try to figure out what the check engine light means, what's wrong with the car. I already have the code, but I'm just gonna show you guys that it has it. I'm gonna turn it on. So yeah, let me plug in my OBD2 scanner and then I'll show you guys the code. There we go. P0011. So the first thing I did was an oil change because I've been doing a little bit of research and they said to do the oil change. Um, I don't know how that would fix anything that has to do with a check engine light, but I got that done. The check engine light is still there, so I went ahead and bought myself a cam intake cam sensor, which is different for Evo 9s that have the Myvik. Uh, motor so pretty much there's a sensor right here for that's the exhaust uh, Side and then there's another one Right here. There's a cam sensor for the Evo 9 with the Myvik. I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out and see if that does any difference Here is the new one and here's the old one um, pretty much identical since it is an OEM part and this is where it goes in just one bolt so that was pretty easy just one bolt and it wasn't actually that difficult to take out clear the code and then go for a drive Here we go again. So I ended up swapping out that um, cam sensor and the car still came up with a check engine light, which is the same check engine light. So we did not fix it. This is worse than I thought. Um, I thought that sensor was gonna fix it. Everything is pointing to, it's pretty much an actuator that pushes in oil to the Myvec head, which is on this side and i think that might be clogged dirty or it went out so it's right here it's just another 10 millimeter bolt that i gotta take off i don't think it's bad like dirty i usually keep clean oil and i keep up with my oil changes on all of my cars i'm gonna pull that out clean it out maybe take it to a shop and see if they can test it to see if it's still working if not then it's gonna be an expensive repair. <laughs> so that actually was not difficult at all. You just had to wiggle it out and eventually it came out. But who knows, maybe this thing gave out. Maybe it's just stuck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna take it to uh, one of the shops that I go to. Hopefully the guys there can test it for me really quick and find out if it actually is broken. If not, then I'll just clean it up and put it back in the car. Alright guys, so it has officially been two days since 
I installed the VVT sensor solenoid on the car so as you guys saw I did put some RTV on it it should be well over tried by now so it should be good to go so I'm gonna clear the check engine light and then go for a drive check engine light came on which is why I realized that there was something wrong with the car but I couldn't tell like there was something wrong with the car um, but yeah my car is running fine right now <laughs> I've been driving the car for a while and no code has come up yet so I do think that that was the issue guys the VVT solenoid this thing was five hundred and like sixty dollars it's an OEM part I didn't want to go with an aftermarket part for such an important thing that controls the motor um, I didn't want to actually cheap out on it so not that I do with any of my cars Sometimes it is tempting because I know it's pricey, but it'll make it worth in the long run if you go OEM. But yeah, I think that was the issue, guys. P0011. If you guys have that code, it might be your VVT solenoid that is actually leaking. So this one wasn't bad. It was still in working condition. The shop that I took it to told me that it might be leaking oil through the little uh, grooves and holes or openings or whatever which was causing the code to come on don't really know exactly how this works but it was leaking oil not out of the engine bay just inside I hope this little video helped and if you guys are dealing with a similar code or are dealing with an Evo that has that code give this a try like I showed you guys I also replaced a cam sensor and that wasn't it that thing was hundred and thirty dollars so um, hey at least I got another new part in the car right <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little video if anything comes up with the car I will keep you guys updated but in the meantime let's hope that it doesn't anyways I'll see you guys on the next video